This is a sitting ringside with David Penzer. Quick Fix on Radio Influence. Former WWE ring announcer and one of the only people other than myself who got to do this for a living, Justin Roberts. I know this uh, has gotten a lot of news lately based on uh, current events, but you had uh, you know, people giving you a hard time. I know a lot of people know the story, but in a nutshell, tell me a little bit about that and uh, and what you went through. Remember, you're twenty, you're you're twenty two at this point, twenty three. Right, twenty two years old. Uh, wanted nothing more ever than to work there, and then I finally got there and was just um, you know happy and proud and excited to be there. I worked really really hard to get there, and then when I got there, I realized um, it's. It's not a friendly place to newcomers, especially young announcers who don't take bumps, who are coming in, and um, there were people who just wanted to make my life hell. So they did. And, um, you know, that came up, of course, in the news when there was speculation about uh, other people's situations. And they said, well, you know, in Justin's book, he talks about this, this, and this. So, yeah, I, I tell my full story, the good, the bad. Um, and some of the stuff that came up was stuff that people learned about some of these characters and said, well, this happened and this happened according to Justin's book. And, um, you know, no one disputed that because there were a lot of guys around for all that. So everybody knew that everything I put in was true. Um, but then, you know, how it tied in with the current events and that was just speculation, but I didn't bring that up in hopes of, you know, going after anybody. No, you couldn't have known, you couldn't have known what was going to happen. You were just telling your story and it just was a, you know, it just seemed to the same time that your book was coming out, uh, something that sort of uh, 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 touched the nerve of, of what you wrote about happened. So, and uh, so, Hey, but uh, let me ask you a question because as somebody who's, who's, you know, been on plenty of ribs before, I don't know if they were as cool as some of the ones that you went through, but I've, I've been on the uh, the other end of a lot of ribs being in the wrestling business. Um, I tried to put myself in your shoes in some of those ribs. So I know on one of the the, the international tours, uh, you were sitting in the front of the bus and some of the guys gave you a hard time because uh, you should have sat in the back of the bus. Then you sat in the back of the bus and they were giving you a hard time uh, because you sat in the front. Uh, the, uh, you should have sat in the front of the bus. What would have happened? And I'm sure this probably went through your mind. If you would have gone up to those people the next day on the tour and say, I know I'm just a ring announcer and you're a veteran and I want to show you respect. Where would you like me to sit? Do you think that would have helped or do you think they just would have found more ways, more ways to make your life miserable? I I tried everything to, um, you know, to, to have it end, to just be done with, with getting messed with. And, um, you know, I, I went along with everything. Um, I, if I knew then what I know now about how the company is, like Vince would have loved me if I stood up to them and just, you know, told them the whatever. Um, but when you're a 22 year old who worked their butt off to get there and didn't want to make any waves and didn't want to do anything to upset anyone, and, you know, I didn't realize back then that the higher ups would have loved that if, if I stood up to them. I just like I thought if I stood up to them, I, I could get fired. Um, there was no way out, even if I approached them and, and asked them about what I could do. I mean, I would off the record ask guys, you know, you know, what should I do? Just don't sell it. Just don't sell. That's, that's really all they would tell me is just don't sell it. So I don't know. I feel like I tried everything, but nothing worked. Sitting ringside with David Penzer can be found on Apple Podcast, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, Google Play, and RadioInfluence.com.